So tell me a bit about how the job interviews work. Um, so you have an initial application process where the, there'll be a teacher interview panel made up of the principal and a couple of other teachers and they'll interview the applicant as they would in any regular job position. And then after that there's a second round where basically the applicant is taken down to another room and there's three student leaders there who have been selected to represent the views of this wider student population. And um, we have a couple of questions that we ask the applicants as well. And then at the end of that, we have several notes that we've compared as the group. And we pass those on to the um, actual interview panel and the staff members who actually go ahead and select whoever's successful for the job. And so what sort of questions do you ask? We ask things like what their proudest achievement that being a teacher was like, and also things like what makes them a good teacher. We also asked uh, how they would engage students because sometimes students think that the teachers don't relate to the students as much so we can get to know how they would teach us and if it would work well. How do you think that they're feeling? Like, do you get any reaction of, you know, is it scary to confront you guys or do they enjoy it or what do you reckon? There's a couple who admit they're a little bit nervous and they don't entirely know what to expect. Um, but I think it's not, it's not like it's a formal interrogation or anything like that. It's really just, it's a bit more of a casual sit down. It's just a chance for us to get to know what they're like as a teacher. Um, and just, that's just one of the other considerations with all the other things that the actual interview panel takes when they're making their final decision. Yeah, I think it, it sort of turns the tables for like the teachers being on the other end of like how they usually would be of a student. So like usually they're the ones asking like, oh, how are you going with your spelling or are you getting this right? And now it's sort of, oh, how do you see yourself as being a teacher and things like that. I think it's a bit sort of out of their comfort zone sometimes. It's kind of also like a mini trial because um, students and teachers need to have a good relationship so they can get to know them and get yeah, know if they would be yeah, good to work with. So you guys think it's a good idea then? Yeah. Definitely. Is it something you yeah. think that lots of schools could benefit from? Certainly. I think it's very important, no matter what school you're at, to be getting the students involved in as many aspects of school life as you can because it makes the students feel like they're actually helping, you know, make changes to the school or helping the school evolve into a better, you know, a better place for all of us, really. I think it's, it's yeah, it's a great way for us to engage with the whole process and go back to the rest of the students and tell them, well, this is how the school does this. You know, they, they don't just choose someone at random or anything. It's a, it's a formal process and it's, um, they make sure that they're selecting the best teachers for us. Yeah, I, you go. yeah. I think it makes it much more enjoyable for the students knowing that they had a say in the teachers, well, some sort of a say, not, it's not the most. Yes. Important say, but knowing that they've had some contribution to the teachers that they have, I think it makes it much more enjoyable for the students. It's also good for the students because school's here to guide us to know what we want to do later in life. So it gets a bit of a feel for the students um, in leadership and contributing to the school community.